Good morning to everyone. Uh, thank you for being here, and a special thank you to to Finland, to the Finnish Defence Forces, uh, to MOD, and especially the HX program. And thank you for uh, having us here. Uh, exciting week uh, ahead of us. And I must say, it was nice to actually come to some real proper winter weather <laughs> instead of the slushy, rainy, dark we had in, in, in Stockholm this morning. So, thank you once again. I'll try to take you through a little bit about Saab in a broader perspective, uh, a little bit about Gripen, but as Magnus was showing, you will hear more about the specifics in the HX uh, program from him later on. Ah, that was the first picture. Here we go in. Um, we have been, since 1946 here in Finland, very proud supplier to the Finnish Defence Forces. We have a very broad product portfolio today from a Saab perspective, not only in the aviators or in the uh, aeronautics sector. We have today the possibility to provide to a customer in all aspects, the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, a complete system, and also to link it together with the command and control. So it's a very broad product portfolio. Therefore, we believe that we are a great partner to any defense force around the world. And certainly we are already a very uh, good partner to the Finnish defense forces as we speak of today. This also gives us the possibilities to link together a very comprehensive proposal in like the Ajax uh, program, which we are showing through that we are not just bringing the fighter, we are also bringing the global eye as a force multiplier. My colleague Anders Kerk will talk more about that later on. Um, here are some facts and figures, and as many of you know, we are soon to reveal the numbers for 2019, so these are a little bit old, but they are roughly uh, correct. We are around 17,000 people, uh, of those 13,000 in Sweden and the rest abroad, and we are steadily growing that. Um, we have some real highlights the later years. We are in development now in a lot of areas. In the Navy side, on the submarines, we are building a world-class new uh, diesel electric submarine. We, together with Boeing, won the TX contract for the US Air Force, now named the T-7 Red Hawk, that we are now in full speed ahead in actually uh, building for the US Air Force. That's a huge program, and I also think that's a recognition of Saab and Saab Aeronautics skills when it comes to the field of aeronautical. We have the Global Eye that uh, we will talk more about later on, but that's also a new development, the latest years. And obviously, we have the newest version of the Gripen, uh, Gripen aircraft, the Gripen Echo and the Gripen Foxtrot, that are, by all means, the latest and the greatest in the fighter market. So we are happy to be able to be here today and a few days forward to actually show the capabilities that this very, very modern fighter actually can provide to an Air Force, and in this case, the Finnish Air Force. Going in a little bit more into the Gripen uh, Echo Foxtrot. Uh, we have two customers, as I think all of you know. We have Sweden that signed a contract in 2013, and we have Brazil 2014. 60 aircrafts in Sweden, all of them single seat, and in Brazil, 36 aircrafts, uh, eight of them are the dual seat, the Foxtrot version. We flew the first time with a fully qualified software. 2017, we flew the Gripen E for the first time. And we are now full, full speed ahead in the test and verification program. As we speak of today, we are flying in Sweden, we are testing, we are opening the envelope. And we are now in a stage where we are moving into the tactical systems to test the radar, the EW system, the payloads, the weapons themselves. So we are really moving ahead in this program. And we have also, the last year, 2019, handed over the first Brazilian aircraft and also the first Swedish aircraft that will go into respective air forces and they will be used in the common test program as we go along. So the progress in the program is really, really good. And for us, this is a great opportunity as well to be here 
in Finland, not just to participate in the HX challenge, but also that gives us very valuable feedback in our test and evaluation program. So we're happy also from that perspective. We are currently flying the 39-7. I know that a lot of you uh, are familiar with these acronyms. That is the test aircraft. That will join later on also here in Finland in the Ajax Challenge. We have the 39-8. That was the first uh, Grip and E aircraft that flew in 2017. We have the 9. We have the 10 that you will see a little bit later. We have the first Brazilian, 6001 and the first Swedish 6002. So we're flying all these aircrafts now and really, as I said, picking up the pace in the test and verification program. Uh, we are now entering in, moving from the development phase in the program into delivery phase. Increasing the testing and starting the deliveries. So starting from this year and onwards, we are starting the deliveries to our two existing uh, customers. So progress is good uh, and we are on track uh, with the program. With that, as a general overview, I would like to hand over the floor to my colleague Anders Karp to talk more about Global Eye and also Saab in Finland in a broader perspective.